There is one side of Mother Nature I really don't like. I can smell fox's poo. If you don't know what fox's poo smells like, you're not missing out. It's good morning YouTube. Cold. Finally, I know I said this the other day. <clears throat> it feels like winter. Minus three here this morning. And uh, but I'm working under a bit of cover. I'm working under these Leylandi trees. There's a beautiful big old yew that I'm under now. Really gnarly. Sort of all twisted up and sort of reaching for the sun and falling over slightly. And there's a huge laurel here. We've got some Ilex holly. But I'm creating this area, clearing it through, and long term, well it's going to be planted up in here, um, but it's going to be a little treat for the kids to play in. It's going to be a uh, nice little safe zone where they can come and sort of make a den or, you know, hide away from the world. The big stack of timber down here, uh, there we go, big stack of timber. I'm not going to get rid of that, I'm not going to put it onto the bonfire. Most of it is, looks like Leylandi, some of it's yew anyway in there, so really nice hardwood with that yew. But uh, I think it'd be nice to make a little buck hotel down here for them as well. Or at least a big stack of wood where bucks can live. Anyway, stick around, hope you enjoy it. Let's make a little bit of noise and enjoy using some power tools. Thank you very much. one side of mother nature I really don't like. I can smell fox's poo. If you don't know what fox's poo smells like, you're not missing out. Stinks. Yuck.
can't help but feel a sad, strange irony here where I'm moving this pile of wood to create habitat for Mother Nature, bugs and beasties. And in doing so, I found a butterfly that shouldn't be out yet. That beautiful little dormouse there. Hmm. Beautiful to see. Dormouse will find its way over there, not a problem at all. I haven't got any concerns about that. Butterfly I feel a bit more sad for, especially knowing how frosty it is at the moment. But it's not down in here. I've put it down over there, there's lots of leaf litter for it. It'll be safe from predators. me lunch. I don't know why but since I, mean, I love my nature, of course I do, but since disturbing the uh, the, <laughs> the, the butterfly and everything I kind of feel a bit of a, mm, a, bit of a downer. Odd really because I know it's one of those things that couldn't be helped and they will settle again and yeah but there we are I guess that's where passion comes into it. I was going to eat me lunch in peace, but <laughs> I've just put a, um, I've just commented on someone's post on one of the local community pages um, where there's some leaves out on a path by a school and apparently they're all getting horrendous, but the council, it's one of their jobs, but the council aren't going to deal with it, but the council are happy to come and pick up the bags if they're, they're bagged up. You've got the normal sort of <sighs> comments of whether they should be included in council tax and all that sort of thing but uh, I've just commented saying I'm happy to donate an hour on Wednesday morning 
Um, you know, while I'm going out with the backpack blower, um, happy just to pop over there for an hour and help them out. I don't know how bad the job is, or you know, there's no images or anything like it, but can't hurt to help the local community, can it? I'll let you know if I hear anything before this video ends. If I hear back from them. I'm sure chocolate is getting smaller. Like Kit Kats used to be massive. I know this is only a two finger one, but they used to be massive. The wagon wheels definitely have. If you're a nervous disposition. Oh. Yeah, she's replied already. If you're a nervous disposition, you'll hate me eating the fingers both together and not snapping them. Just going to check my comments. Quick little top tip for you. If you're loading up a wheelbarrow and you've got a load of uh, heavy stuff, if it's going to be brick or bags, compost or whatever, put it all at the front and then the lighter stuff at the back. All the weight's then over the wheel and it makes your job a lot easier. Thank you very much. You know, there's no such thing as a seagull. <laughs> well, there is. But what we call seagulls are actually they're, they're herring gulls. Don't normally hear them this far in. Must be a rough day at sea. <laughs> Two updates for you. I'm going to be helping out and doing that free leaf clear up for the community on uh, on Wednesday morning. And the other one is that fox is turded actually on this log that I made for the bench. Oh, that's over that side. Close enough to smell it, far enough away for me to not be putting my hands in it. I'm going to end the video there, but let's just have a little look at this uh, oh, wire. Just while I'm over here, actually, I'll swing the camera around and have a look at my wheelbarrow of goodies and treasure. Right, so I've got loads of concrete and bricks and whatever there. I've got a bag of rubbish loads of this wire, loads of bar wire, a couple of bottles, some random iron that worked there, a whole bag of council issue uh, black sacks, um, but the strangest and the first for me, part of an old number plate. That is the first I've ever found quarter of a number plate. That wire is enough to give any stream of the arse today, so it's, uh, yeah, not be much fun that, but here we are. So, uh, yes, it's just a stack of logs, but it's going to give a safe haven and a home and a kitchen, <laughs> a living room, bathroom, bedroom, a sanctuary, all to lots of... Uh, Mother Nature's lovely little animals. Anyway, I've got to show you the area clear, didn't I? <sighs> Come on then. So we've got the bug, beastie and everything. More rubbish. <sighs> right. So it has made a vast difference. This was obviously where the big par was here. Uh, just work my way through. So what's going to happen with this 
is um, we're going to get tons of reclaimed bark chip um, to kind of suppress. <laughs> I don't think it's going to work. There's no suppressing this ivy. Uh, knocking it back like this is going to help. Of course it will a bit. But uh, you're delusional if you think that you're going to be able to cover this up. But anyway, I'm going to do a, a like a pass a pass bit through there just sort of coming around here and around just a very deep wood chip i think we've got some bricks around which we're just going to simply crudely use as an edge which will look quite nice um i don't know if i said earlier on but this is actually the other end of um one of the last videos that i did right back down right back down the other end um, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll do a little bit of promotion while I'm here. Hang on, let's turn the camera around. So as the channel's growing, I've just been having a little look back at previous videos, see what's been popular and whatever. And one that I actually did here, which is an, an overseeding and a playground, I think it was called. I'll put a link in the description. It got hardly any views. I think it had something like 40 odd views. But um, I'll put a link in it and have a little look here. But I'll swing the camera around and you can actually see how it... Um, so you're going to see, if you haven't watched it, it's going to be a bit odd. You're going to see the after before you'll see the before. Does that make sense? Um, this was also one, if uh, I was having a chat with, I can't remember who it was, with somebody on Instagram. If you happen to follow, follow me, follow me on here. I said about a wall which come down when I was clearing ivy off. That's this one here. If I've got some before images, I'll, um, I'll ping them up. Anyway, I'll say thank you very much now. Pan the camera around and you can have a look at this area. Thank you for watching another video. I hope you enjoyed the content for today. And um, I'll be back with another one soon. Thank you very much.